Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Mama Bear's Homestead and more. On today's adventure, uh, this was our water trailer. Or this is gonna be a bunch of different things, but first we got to get that spare tire holder off. It's no boat trailer a friend of mine gave me that we've had forever, and I just recently started using it. So, um, yep, let's get this taken off, and then we'll get the Atlanta floor down on. Yeah, good thing we bring the Kentucky and socket set. And do you guys think we'll throw this away? Absolutely not. These uh, square U bolts come in handy for something. I know that. Well guys, I went and got the impact. We'll make quicker work of this. Love it. Love it. Love it. Some bunch and bunch of washers. Whooshers. Ah, dropped the one out. I guess we can plant it. Back up plate. Sure, this is a bent length, isn't it? Yeah. All right, guys, we got this off. Hey, Mom Bear, yeah. what are you doing? Well, I'm going to see what time it is because I reckon it's time to cook the dinner. Yeah, about time to start dinner. 
Are you done with your patrol down there? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna get rid of the apples. Okay. I don't want the groundhogs Have a bit knowing that they can come there for food if you're not there on guard. Yeah. I'll bring your. What do you think? I'm gonna deck this out. I love it. For the water tank. I love it. And in the back half, it's gonna be veggies. Uh, self serve veggie storage. Okay. Yeah. When we need to, you know, it's this dual purpose. Yeah. And it, uh, the other purpose is whatever I want it to be. <laughs> All right. Well, you'll get your uh, gun in the apples. Have you seen my drill? Which drill? My Milwaukee drill. No. Okay. I have not either, and I cannot find it. Is it the one that I would have used for the garden? Because I know the twisty parts on your table in there. Yeah, I need the other end of it. I didn't take the twisty part off. That was you. Okay. So. I, did. I didn't know if you seen it laying anywhere. No, I haven't. No, bear. I don't keep track of all your tools, Papa Bear. Well, if you don't, who is? I've asked you time and time again to let me organize that carport for no, you. No, you hide things. You don't organize, you hide. All right, guys. Hey, Mom, can you adjust my camera for me and get me in the shot? You are in the shot. Well, well boom. Everything, everything over here is in the shot. Everything, this right here is in the shot? Yes. Okay. Guys, I'm going to draw a hole right here. Five sixteenths. <laughs> guys all the time I repurpose this was what one of our uh, oh one of the <laughs> herbs came in works great for holding boats so we're gonna put that through there that through there with a little persuasion just a little persuasion not a lot you know uh, what a Kentucky ratchet socket sets good for. It's a bammer. Thought it from. Oh, it is. It's in my bucket. I know I have one over here. But anyway, we got flat washers and nets. So, we're going to put a flat washer and a nut on this thing. And then tighten it down. That way it don't want to. Well, I guess it really can't move. Honest. Perfect, perfect, move over here. I like it, right there. So, tighten it up. Alright guys, let's 
move over to the other side. Oh, what for? Steps are set to. Ah. Please don't tell me I left my wrench over there. That's a 10 millimeter. That's a different project. I did in the truck here. Right here, guys.
There we go. I got these three lined up. Got these three uh, drilled the boards marked the metal, so we're gonna drill them out, and then we'll put nuts, finish our bolt and our hardware up, and then uh, see where we're at. <laughs> not good guys not good broken drill bit well guys we done a video and I put all these boards on the front of this trailer and bolted them down well I got my water tank set up there now and I either put a, a five gallon bucket here and get water like that or i have that milwaukee pump up there where i can pump it through a garden hose and use a wand but um yeah I, we're gonna let this fill up with water and then i'll show you how good it works guys all right guys i'm gonna take you guys over here in my garden or my weekend garden i should say uh mama bear waters everything throughout the week and then i have to water this garden and the uh, one down yonder the bottom garden on the weekends but i don't mind looks like when he gets more hay bring in here or a hoe. Let me get a hoe in here. I should have a hoe around here somewhere. I'll have to do some investigations. I think made it here. They're looking really wet. I mean, besides they're wanting water. It's been hot and dry this past week. But they got good green color to them. What's that tomato doing there? It's falling down. Hmm. Basil. That basil's looking really good. So is that one up there. And marigolds are doing good. They're just not getting any height on. Need to get down and deadhead them dead ones off. That really helps the plant out a lot. Last time I was over there hunting, I found some uh, wildflower bee flower mix coming up in that tire. That made me happy. Yeah. It's kind of getting there. Hmm. I'm sure you guys don't want to watch me water all the garden. Shoot 
So you get down in here and you to hoe and the weeds and stringing the plants up. Not two or three that don't don't like them. They ain't. Now these plants over here that I'm watering are just now getting to the top to the bottom of their trellis or hog panel. Say about midweek, I'll fertilize them again. Our peppers are pretty pitiful peppers, honestly. They just haven't ever grown. They're getting bushier, but as far as height, they ain't got no height on them. Green beans, they're starting. They ain't but flowering out yet, but they're looking fairly good so far the groundhog ain't found them I've been on that groundhog duty all day or not all day but I took a shot at him with a gun that I'm not real familiar with and it shot underneath of him but he probably ought not give me a chance like he did Well, I think my big dead tree just fell over. We're going to go check that out. And I don't think it fell in my barn, so that's even better. <sighs> it wasn't the dead tree. Might have been a limb out of it though. Oh yeah, look at there. There's there's a zucchini over there. It's gonna identify his baseball bat tomorrow. I'll pick him here. As soon as we get down water, I'll go over and pick him. And I was reading Maybe watching a video on a guy that grows a bunch of zucchini. And he was talking about trimming your big leaves off. That way you trick the plant and it'll keep putting on blooms. That sounds like a great idea. But see, we already got powder we mildew up there. I don't know. Well, I do because it was... When it got r raining... This year it just kept raining. And actually in the last couple of days is when it finally just let up to um ah, I can't get over there. Can't get to my quite get to my yellow squash. Oh well, we'll get a bucket. Get this hot tub of green beans here. And these are Roma 2's green beans. That's the most that thing's ever turned. I see another zucchini in there. That's the thing about zucchinis, guys, eh? They produce a lot, and zucchini is so good. Make zucchini bread out of it. I just like cutting it up and dicing it and put it on the grill with yellow pepper, or yellow squash. Yellow squash and zucchini, whew, that's good eating. That's real good eating. But yeah, these two plants, or these two down here are really coming into it. They look a lot better 
then our zucchini down there in the other garden these aren't supposed to be climbing beans but i think they are i think they give me the wrong beans they're supposed to be wrong with twos but we'll find out when it, she starts setting beans on I hope oh, they're wrong with twos. Shut our gas off so we have some when we get back on it next time. All right, we have our Honda or our Milwaukee pump up there. And hang on, that's Milwaukee. Looks like we need to push it back over yonder. Set you guys up right there. Can you guys see that? Yep, you can. Awesome. Now, if any Dylan Walterman, if you're watching this, I want you to know I did not buy that. Not that yonder stuff. All right, now let's go get us there primed up. Now, watch this, guys. We got no growth coming out of our taters, I figured we would have. air out Taters. Got water in the sides in. Maybe that'll help.
I wish we could just get a big old natural down. But no, I ain't saying that. I'm not saying that. Right there, right there. All right, yeah, that's one we want to water. That's one we, these are zucchini down here too. I think the groundhogs already eat all the cucumbers. So that can, I mean, that ought to tell you why I want to, why I am very anti-groundhog right now. But yeah, working just fine. We mounted that little, put the floor down on that trailer. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna continue to go down the trailer with the same floor or what I'm gonna do in the back. But I also wanted to make that my, um, produce my self-serve produce stand for here at the homestead uh, it looks like one of my acorn squashes are not good I get down here and with a hoe. Looks like something neat on that one too. That end one don't look very good at all. Hey guys, I forgot about these four tomato plants right here. They deserve a little drink too. Oh yeah, groundhog. Yeah, it's gotten that serious, guys. Turkey loads. I drank from a hose and survived. <laughs> um, but anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave this video here. Let me shut this pump off. Look at that, it's so awesome, guys, so awesome. But anyway, I'm gonna leave this video here. And as always, keep on keeping on, because we love every single one of you. Jesus does too. <laughs>